Ads don't get the attribution that they deserve. They don't get the respect that they deserve, and they never will. The data never tells the full picture. And unfortunately, no matter what ad platform that you use to track your ads, whether that's Google Analytics, whether it's Hyros, whether it's Triple Whale, no matter what it is, whatever you use to track the results of your ads, you're never going to tell the entire picture from those platforms. No matter how much data, no matter how much technology, no matter how much time goes past, we're never, ever going to be able to tell all of the results that we get from our ads are the actual results that our ads get over the long term in our business. You might see the short term, you might see the medium term, but you're never going to be able to see the entire picture and that long term result of those ads that you're running. So the best people in the world, they invest, right? Everything in your business is an investment. The things that you put your time and your energy and your money into today are going to get you the results that you get tomorrow, okay? Everything in your business is an investment. And the problem is most people don't know the number one investment that they could possibly make in their business. So the best investors, like these absolutely brilliant people that I will never even be able to hold a candle to as far as my mental bandwidth goes, they've amassed net worths of $20 billion, $30 billion over the last three decades with returns like 18.7%, 22%, 13%, 21.3%. Right, pretty good, okay? Plenty of head fund managers are even content with 5% annual returns. But advertisers are a different animal. For example, I have a campaign running right now for one of my e-commerce brands, my, my private label brands, that's getting a 2,040% return on a campaign. And this isn't over a year window like these investors are. This isn't over two years or three years. This is over a 30-day window. I pay $5 for a customer. They buy one main item for $22. And then after they purchase that main item, they buy one and a half more items for an average of $85 over that 30, 35-day window once they're on my email list. Advertising is the best investment that you could possibly make in your business. They allow us to compete with these Fortune 100 co companies. They allow us to create money literally out of thin air. It's like magic. And if you couple that with a winning back-end system where it's predictable enough that you know the exact amount of revenue that you're going to make 30 days after somebody's added to your email list, that's the winning combination, right? So if I want to make $100,000, and all that I have to do is dial in my system to produce $100 per customer over 30 days. And then all I have to do is just add 1,000 customers using ads to that email list. It's like clockwork. I mean, I do this on a regular basis for myself and all my customers. Right? This is where that predictability comes in. This is where that scale comes in. This is why advertising is your number one investment. But if it's so great, why don't most people do it? Well, it's because most people don't look at their ads as an investment. Right? They see ads as an expense because they don't understand the power of their ads. Right? They might have tried them before and they didn't get them to work and now they have a bad taste in their mouth about them. Right? They don't want to engage in the ads again because they tried them one time and they think that they don't work. But the truth is that ads are the single greatest guarantor that you can find to secure complete and total freedom in your level of abundance, income, experiences, and security. Right? Your results, your success, and your freedom come from ads. Your system is not going to work if you don't get people into it. Right? Ads do more though. They don't just do that initial thing where if I want to make 100K, put a few people on my email list using ads and I make the money. They do more than that, right? They don't just sell your product. They touch people above the funnel. These are people who aren't even in your cold, warm, or hot funnel. They put your name out there. They spark consideration. They get you talking in the circles where you're of interest. They do so much more. The direct sales that you get from your ads are just one piece of a greater puzzle and you're never going to be able to track all that the ads actually do. Right? The brand sentiment, the emotional connection, the value of your brand equity, your brand reputation, your loyalty, trust, and goodwill, all of these things come from the ads and so much more come from the ads that we're never going to be able to see on an Excel spreadsheet, that we're never going to be, be able to see in a high row chart. Right? We're never going to be able to see these results that we get from these ads because they're intangibles. Okay? And all of these things right here are legitimate assets of your brand. Customer loyalty is a legitimate asset of your brand. Goodwill is something that's literally valued by investors when they look to invest in a business. When you want to get that coveted eight-figure exit down the road, investors will look at how much goodwill you have in your marketplace, right? There's nothing better in your business than ads, right? Ads allow you to create magic. They allow you to create customers and revenues out of thin air, okay? And in addition to the short-term revenues that you get from running great ads, you also get the long-term benefits that we just talked about, the goodwill, the loyalty, the trust, the brand saturation, top of funnel reach and consideration, brand reputation, and most importantly, attention, right? You get attention and that is the new currency. The more people that see your stuff, the more people buy. You can play the volume game all day long. You can get a million people to see your stuff and no matter how good your backend system is, you're still going to make a few sales. So the more attention you get, the better. The ads literally cannot fail, 
They cannot produce negative results no matter what happens because even if you run a bad ad that doesn't get you results, money-wise, you're still getting that attention. You're still getting all of this, right? Ads are the best investment that you could possibly make in your business and you cannot forego that investment. And the, one of the biggest, most impactful levers that you can make in your business is to increase the effectiveness of your advertising as far as your customers go. What do they want to see? What do they like to see? What's going to establish that emotional connection with them and sell them on your product before they even see the sales page, before they even see the product page? What results are you going to get from your ads before somebody even sees the stuff that you're selling? Right? That is where the ads come in. That is why ads are so darn powerful. Ads are not an expense. They're an investment. And you're never going to be able to see the true return of your business from those advertisements directly. They do so much more and they're never going to be able to get the attribution that they deserve.